inner child, sorry for not having made room for you in my conscious mind earlier. Sorry for having been ashamed of who you were, who I am. Sorry for letting rotten souls enter through the window of my insecurities ever so often. Sorry for believing that society held the right manual of instructions. Sorry for being sensible. Sorry for categorizing playtime as unrecyclable creative energy, then putting it off. Sorry for not having heard you. You always knew what I wanted. Sorry for having confused maturity for a virtue. Sorry for blaming you for my shortcomings. I know you developed them as a defense mechanism when we needed them. Sorry for abandoning you when abandonment is what we both fear. Sorry for criticizing you when we already had enough shaming. Sorry for neglecting to pamper you because I was too worried about the system's demands or for others to even see you. Sorry for not turning on the light in my subconscious mind before. I know that's where your room is. Sorry for prohibiting you from making art for an unforgivable amount of time. I'm trying to make up for it. Sorry for everything I've put you through. Sorry for not having protected us better. But also, sorry that you had to learn the world can be a tough place and life can be more closer to nightmares than you thought possible. Sorry for shutting your tears off instead of hugging you. Sorry for denying you the real reasons for our traumas for so long. Sorry for my child abuse. I could be a monster to you when I couldn't be anything but pleasing to everyone else. Sorry, now I know you are my authentic self, therefore my best self. Sorry, now I will nourish our relationship to the best of my ability. Will you please help me share our path with others? Hello humans, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, let me introduce myself. I'm Cheojas, an international visual artist and author creating the self-help genre in art. Yes, <laughs> I keep changing my description. The thing is, I'm still trying to find myself as a creator, which is my place within the vast world of art. Let me remind you, I decided to take the art path not too long ago, in May 2020. There's a lot I need to figure out yet, and I'm sharing that journey with you. This is probably the smallest painting I've made. It's a 22 by 25 centimeters wood panel, which is roughly 8 by 9 inches. I chiseled the board with some purple acrylic paint mixed in, and then I all painted on top. This painting took me about two hours, when my usual paintings take me weeks. Don't get me wrong, I love my big and complex compositions, but I want to mix in some of these smaller and looser paintings into a cube too. They're good practice. It's fine and mindless, I get into flow easier. It allows me to cover more topics, there's so much I want to communicate with my art. And if every piece is a message to the world, it allows me to send more messages. Speaking about messages, this one is about our inner child. I hope the spoken words at the beginning explained a bit of what I intended to represent. Of course, interpretations are open. There's no one right way to understand when it comes to art. 
I just want to be honest about what was in my mind and then it's up to you what to do with it, how to take it, bend it or disregard it. This painting is dedicated to all our abandoned inner childs. When was the last time you stopped to pay attention to the little you that lives inside you? Or to play? To be fair with them, it's mostly us who get hurt by not nurturing and listening to them, since they still control our behaviors from our subconscious. Everything that child has been through and continues to go through shapes who we are. We all developed attitudes, emotions, reactions, habits, ways to relate with others and more when we were kids. We did it as a response to our environment and out of authenticity too. We leave them behind because we are too busy, adopt the societal ways, and they are told to grow up, man up, mature, etc. But if we want a fulfilled life, a better understanding of who we are, what we want, or why we do what we do, we can't continue to neglect our inner child. We've got to learn to listen to them, understand them, heal with them, and also give them time, have fun. Kids need attention to feel loved. Authentic self-care can't go without investing time in our relationship with ourselves. You don't expect anyone else to feel loved by you if you ignore them, if you don't spend quality time with them, laugh with them and listen to them. Why would this relationship be any different? It isn't. With that, I'll leave you for today. I hope you enjoyed this painting video and my words were of help. I wish you the best. If you have any questions or things you want to get out of your chest, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below or contact me through social media. If you like this video, it helps me out if you give me a like. And if you want to see more videos like it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you like this painting, the original is still available and I also have prints and other merch with the artwork in my Etsy shop. The link to that is in the description below. Bye, my beautiful humans.